Health Services Workers Union has also given government a two-week ultimatum to pay the arrears on the market premium of members. Deputy General Secretary of the Union, Franklin Owusu Ansah, who gave the ultimatum at a news conference in Accra, said the delay could affect industrial harmony. Services Workers Union agreed to receiving market premium on its salary every month. But government used the 2012 salary structure to pay the premium despite its attention having been drawn to the anomaly. The government says I will pay you market premium based on your current salaries at 15%. Because it is based on 2012, now if you calculate it, it is about 7%. Have it on record that some public servants are paid similar premium, but this premium is based on their current basic salaries. Brothers and sisters, is this fair? No. We reiterate that what is good for the goose is also good for the gander. The union again raised concerns about distortions in the payment of salaries to other allied associations which are part of the union. It was again concerned about non-implementation of collective bargaining agreements and national health laboratory policies. The union raised red flags over non-payment of incremental credit and upgrade on members on a single spine salary structure. View of the above, we are requesting the government to, as a matter of agency, and with the understanding that we are operating in an essential service area, fix all the above within two weeks. Other than that, the union and its members will advise ourselves accordingly. General Secretary of the Union, Reynolds of Osutin Crime, said failure to pay the market premium could trigger industrial unrest. Offering the agreement, the previous government never consulted the union that is changing the mode of payment of the market premium. So to us, the market premium is our right and we continue to demand it. The Fair Wages and Salaries Commission and the Minister of Employment and Labour Relations are yet to respond to their concerns.